Welcome back. We are still on the topic sequence and series. In the previous video, we solved a question on finding the common ratio of a GP. In this video, we are going to solve another question. The question for this video is, the first term of a GP is 12 and the fifth term is 3072. Determine the common ratio and the 11th term. So, the first term of a GP is 12 and the fifth term is 3072. The question wants us to use this information to determine the common ratio and the 11th term. We have learned that the value of a term in a GP is denoted by UN and UN is given by the formula AR exponent N minus 1 where A is the first term of the GP R is the common ratio and N is the number of the term whose value we want to find. We have been told in the question that the first term of the GP is 12. From this formula, we know that the first term is given as A. So if the first term of the GP is 12, then it means that A is equal to 12. We also know from the question that the fifth term of the GP is 3072. The fifth term of the GP will be denoted by U5. So we can say that U5 is equal to 3072. We are talking about the fifth term, so N is equal to 5. Let's find U5 from the formula. From the formula, U5 will be equal to A times R exponent N minus 1. But N is 5, so U5 will be equal to A times R exponent 5 minus 1. We know that U5 is 3072, so we can replace U5 with 3072. So 3072 will be equal to A. We have found out that A is equal to 12, so we have 12 times R exponent 4 because 5 minus 1 will give us 4. So we have 3072 is equal to 12 times R exponent 4. And this will give us 3072 is equal to 12R exponent 4. So we have 12R exponent 4 is equal to 3072. We will divide the left hand side by 12 and then we will divide the right hand side also by 12. And that will give us R exponent 4 is equal to 3072 divided by 12 which is 256. So we have R exponent 4 is equal to 256. This is an exponential equation. From the videos on exponential equations and the indices, we learned that when solving an exponential equation, the main goal is to make sure that the term on the left hand side and the term on the right hand side have the same basis so that we can equate the exponents or they have the same exponents so that we can equate the basis. The term on the left hand side has a base of r and the term on the right hand side has a base of 256. We can't change r to have a base of 256. Neither can we change 256 to have a base of r. That means that we have to make sure that they have the same exponents so that we can equate the basis. 256 can be written in exponential form as 4 exponent 4. So now we can see that we have r exponent 4 is equal to 4 exponent 4. The term on the left hand side has an exponent of 4 and the term on the right hand side has an exponent of 4. So we can equate the basis. So the base on the left hand side is r and the base on the right hand side is 4. So r is equal to 4. So we can say that the common ratio of the GP is equal to 4. So you can see that you need to understand how to solve exponential equations before you can solve this question. I've explained how to solve exponential equations under the videos on indices. So if you want more information on solving exponential equations, watch the videos on exponential equations under indices.
The next part of the question said that we should find the 11th term of the GP. As we have seen, the value of a term in a GP is denoted by UN, and UN is given by the formula AR exponent N minus 1, where A is the first term, R is the common ratio, and N is the number of the term whose value we want to find. We want to find the value of the 11th term, so N is equal to 11. We have found out that the first term, which is A, is equal to 12, and the common ratio, which is R, is equal to 4. So we have the values of N, A, and R. We can find the 11th term. The 11th term of the GP will be denoted by U11, and U11 is equal to 12 times 4 exponent 11 minus 1. This will give us 12,582,912. So it means that the 11th term of the GP is 12,582,912. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to this channel for more videos. In the next video, we are going to solve a question on finding the common ratio and first term of a GP when the value of some terms in a GP have been given to you. Bye-bye.